office. A Jackson County tutor is asking the school board to make changes. She believes some students don't have the proper resources to ensure their success. News 13's Chloe Sparks is live in our studios tonight. Chloe, who is the tutor? Well, Amy, her name is Carrie Eaton, and she's a tutor and a teacher for the Florida Virtual School. Eaton told school board members not only are students not getting resources, but they also lack the counseling they need to succeed and graduate. Carrie Eaton is a math teacher for Florida Virtual School. She also tutors students across Jackson County District Schools. She says she's noticed an increase in remedial reading students in 11th and 12th grade. And the high percentage of remedial reading students that we have says that we are being reactive as a county instead of proactive. Right now, Florida students are required to pass the standardized Florida assessment test and their end of course exams to graduate. Eden claims 80 to 100 upperclassmen still have not passed one of those and it's a growing problem every year. I just think that there's a lack of resources, a lack of curriculum, um, and these kids are scrambling to be able to even graduate when we really should be encouraging them to do something greater than just get by. Students can take untimed ACT or SAT tests to make up for those failing scores, but those untimed tests don't count for college admissions. Board members say they're going to dig into Eaton's claims. Our staff are not going to allow a kid to miss an obligation. They, they want our kids to move on. They want our kids to get scholarships. They want our kids to excel. And so I don't think any, any school has intentionally overlooked uh, an issue uh, th there again this might be an individual case and so we'll follow up on it. Eaton says teacher training will help resolve the issue. She believes there should be an emphasis on grammar and using the entire class period for instruction. Chloe what can parents do? Eaton says parents need to be more involved. Start the school year on a positive note and don't wait for bad grades to engage your child's teacher. Good advice. Thanks Chloe. There's somewhat of a